Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 22nd of December 1882, Edward H. Johnson became the first person to install electric lights on a Christmas tree. Edward Johnson was an inventor in his own right and had first met Thomas Edison in 1871. By the end of the decade, he had become one of Edison's most trusted business partners and was appointed vice president of the Edison Electric Light Company. At the time, Christmas trees were routinely decorated with small candles, but these were obviously a hazard, and there are numerous records of them causing devastating fires in people's homes. Meanwhile, Edison and his employees had worked to perfect the electric light bulb, which was first successfully demonstrated on December 31, 1879, outside his Menlo Park laboratory in New Jersey. Three years later, Johnson decided the time had come to replace the candles on his tree with electric lights. He arranged for 80 red, white and blue walnut-sized glass light bulbs to be hand-wired and placed around the large Christmas tree in his New York home on Fifth Avenue. To make the installation even more impressive, the tree stood in Johnson's parlour on a rotating platform that was slowly moved thanks to an electric dynamo. Regarding Johnson's Christmas lights as nothing more than an Edison publicity stunt, the New York newspapers of the time ignored the press release. However, W.A. Crawford from the Detroit Post and Tribune was interested enough in the story to visit the house on the evening of the 22nd of December to see the effect for himself. Crawford's article described a most picturesque and uncanny aspect, brilliantly lighted. Nevertheless, it wasn't until 1884 that Johnson's electric Christmas lights caught the wider public's imagination, following an article in the New York Times. 